if you want to be up there and be one of the best, and that's the drive, it's, it's a 20 hour a day pursuit. It gets to the stage where the person who's the best at doing it is the person who's the most obsessed. It drives you to do mad things. This is the voice of a criminal hacker who goes by the online handle Phobos. He refuses to appear on camera. So let's not get caught for breaking into our local library. That would be stupid. Let's get caught for breaking into a bank. Because then we might get a book deal. Hackers wield enormous power. The geeks have inherited the earth. Elusive and suspicious, few have spoken out until now. It's the best game in the world. It's better than sex. I think you have to look at the hackers. It's basically a force of nature. You're not going to round them all up. You're not going to arrest them. You're not going to stop them. Never before have so many people had power in their own hands. Are they ignored visionaries, political scapegoats? In this program, hackers speak for themselves and reveal what drives them and their world. Some hackers defy the system. They call themselves black hats. They're 21st century cowboys who will break the law. This man was once considered one of the most dangerous criminal hackers in Britain. Not wanting to reveal his home address, he met us at the local laundrette. Twenty-four years old and arrested for the crime twice, charged with breaking into over 100 mainframes, 50 universities, government and military departments, British Telecom and NASA. His online handle is Cold Fire. You just get a massive adrenaline rush and you think, yes, I'm the greatest. Yeah. Within, um, from starting to attack somewhere, we'd usually get in within an hour, two hours, three hours. It's like the world's biggest crossword puzzle. But the clues keep changing, the answers keep changing. You've got to keep doing it. It's the intellectual challenge. It is an obsession, it's an addiction. Once you're doing it, you've got to keep on going. You've got to get more sites in more places, do better places, do cooler places. And that's what drives you. That's why you get up at like, have five hours sleep during the day and then get up. Phobos has been active for almost 20 years. He's an Uber hacker who designs new ways to crack into government. He's never been caught. This is not the back of Phobos's head. Not all hackers believe in hacktivism. For Phobos, hacking is a crime, and hacktivism simply a way of justifying a crime. I think that's nonsense. Yeah. At the end of the day, what they're doing is exactly what I'm doing, or used to do, and um, exactly what a whole lot of other people are doing, which is, it gives me a rush, it's a power trip, and that's what it's all about. I think it's about getting what you want to get, doing what you want to do, and then vanishing again and not getting caught. Some do it for a weekly wage, some do it for a cause. But the common thread that links all hacking is the electric thrill. I wasn't doing it for like any kind of course. I did it because it was fun, it made me feel good, it gave me an adrenaline rush, I enjoyed it. It's about abuse of trust, really. Hackers are antisocial people. They invade people's personal and business space. Um, you can't really support that. But 
It's not right to hack at the end of the day. We do it because it's good fun, but it's not right.